When it comes to capturing images, I've spent my whole career seeking a certain feel. In a world of, I wanted texture and grit. So I learned of the first option, adapting vintage lenses to modern cameras. However, they rarely made sense to use in a professional setting. Some had loose parts, haze and scratches, or used push-pull zoom rings. And they all needed step-up rings, focus ring adapters, and manual lens adapters. Which means I get no metadata. This wasn't such a big deal with APS-C but now I also lose out on the fantastic autofocus capabilities of the Sony a7 IV and a7S III. So then the question became, how can I get the vintage filmic look I crave from modern lenses? Second option, filters. found out about mist and dream filters. You could add haze and bloom by simply slapping on a filter to the front of the lens. I especially love these clip-in dream filters from Case. I had my metadata, but something was still missing. Option 3. Software. Over the years, I had tried them all. Boris effects. Red Giant. Trap Coat. Digi effects. They all had great features and functions. However, none of them really helped me achieve the look I wanted. Recently, I was approached by Dehancer and invited to try out their suite of filmic emulation plugins. Film and camera profiles make it easy to work with any professional camera and emulate dozens of photographic and movie films, including Kodak Vision 3 and Eastman XX 5222. The realistic film grain simulation allows for minute control over the amount and impact to shadows, midtones, and highlights. The bloom control allows me to fine tune the same effect as a dream or mist filter. This lets me dial in the perfect amount of soft glow from highlights and light sources. Halation. The subtle red shift in specular highlights and contrasting edges might not be noticeable to most, but I believe it's an integral piece to the puzzle. It even has versions for Final Cut, After Effects and Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, a photo editing plugin, and an iOS app. The ability to use modern lenses, maintain the highest possible recording quality in camera, and dial in all the effects that contribute to a vintage filmic look. I had finally ironed out my workflow and could put away my old lenses. Thank you Dehancer for sponsoring this episode, because otherwise I could never afford all this incredible software. If you'd like to pick up any of the Dehancer Filmic Emulation plugins, use code MEGAMINI at checkout for 10% off your subscription. You should really see for yourself just what these plugins can do. However, for the sake of being thorough, I should probably continue to collect vintage lenses. Right? Thank you to everyone watching, and a special thanks to our Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the show, 
check us out on patreon.com forward slash mega mini. <laughs>